Hello there, welcome back. Welcome back to the Technology Innovation Hub. This time is going to be a session from uh, DevOps, right? Uh, DevOps uh, portal. You may remember we have had the uh, introduction, DevOps industry overview has been given. So by now we have already seen that uh, introduction and overview. Uh, let me share the screen, right? Right, so this is uh, the last uh, slide on that, right? I just want to recall that because in that slide uh, I mentioned what the next step is going to be. So, this is what uh, build a basic CICD pipeline. Up next, uh, practical on building basic uh, on premise CICD pipeline. Right? So, this is the next one is on cloud, right. So this is uh, what we are going to do now, because uh, it's going to we are going to start with hands-on in DevOps, right? So almost the uh, overview is given. So let's start the hand-on, hands-on. So actually, uh, this is going to be the place where for any beginner to start with DevOps. Now, if you want to build a, your career with DevOps, so this is the place to start with. So because the uh, CI/CD pipeline is the fundamental, because you cannot start the uh, DevOps environment or you cannot start uh, the culture of DevOps without having the CICD infrastructure in place. By now you know what is CICD is already, continuous integration, continuous delivery deployment pipeline and what is the purpose, what it does, we all know this theoretically, all we have been given. So let's start this uh, practical. Uh, uh, actually, uh, now in this session, I will just give you what we are trying to do here, right? Let me just uh, show you because uh, we are going to build an on-premise one and we are going to build based on Docker. So this is the practical CICD uh, basic uh, platform. This is the document that we are going to follow. Um, actually, uh, this one is going to be based on Docker. So CICD platform will be built based on Docker, right? <laughs> you may wonder what do you mean by based on Docker? It's still uh, most of you may not aware at least what is a Docker, right? So some of you may know by now what is a Docker by Googling and not. But don't worry, I'm going to give a theoretical introduction to Docker also later. But uh, for the time being, let's keep away the theory for a while and let's try to get, uh, get into the hands-on right away installing docker and uh, configuring it running it and likewise right? let's try to do some hands-on after that let's get into the docker theory hope that will help you to understand uh, comprehend, uh, comprehend uh, docker in the purpose right mm, okay so this is the very first step the step one what it says create a github account so i think most of you will have the github account at the moment and you can just visit this uh, particular uh, repo of course it is uh, one of my old reports but uh, i think uh, when i'm uploading this document i will change to the correct repo because we have a github repository specifically for devops right so i will put it there right so you can fork it from there right so that's that's not a problem right so you can fork it from there fork it to your git account right? So this is nothing much where just a very small java program this is a very small java program just to say hello so we will change it right once you build the environment we will see how the things are going to get changed right and the, we are already changing the code right and we'll be committing the code to the repository and then the pipeline should trigger so let's see those things so uh it's a java base and it is a maven project maven base right so the build uh, management behind this uh, project is a maven maven driven java project right so we have the form.xml file right so therefore we need maven as well so let's get into more detail so actually what it does initially it will just display hello welcome to devops something right i i'll come to more detail later so what we are trying to do here now in cicd pipeline once the pipeline is set it up as the developer checks in the code any modification it should pick it up and right away it should deploy and the end user should be able to uh, see the modification. And so in this pipeline, we are going to witness that. We are going to change this code, right? 
We are going to return to the Java file and we are going to edit the code and commit it. Once it's committed, that commit should be automatically picked up by the uh, our tool is Jenkins. The build, the management uh, server is Jenkins. So Jenkins automatically will pick it up and we are going to deploy it via a Tomcat server to the web. And the end user from the browser, it should be able to right away access the change. That means initially I might say, hello, welcome to DevOps. Then I will say, hello, welcome to DevOps with Technology Innovation Hub. So the change immediately should be published to the web. So it doesn't matter. So enough of there is I we witness it, right? Right. So that is the thing. Uh, that is what we are going to do actually in detail. Uh, I'm going to do it on uh, practically. So very first thing is GitHub and fork it. Right? Then the second thing is this. Set up Jenkins non Docker. So this is what I right? set up Jenkins non Docker. So as I mentioned, we are going to do this practical based on Docker. And there are different ways to do it. Now instead of going to Docker installing Jenkins, I can install Jenkins directly on another. I mean, a virtual box and no manual way of downloading and installing. But we are not going to do it. We are going to do it the most effective and the efficient. Uh, productive method for DevOps, right? So we are going to get the Docker, pre-built Docker, and I'm going to get it, and we are going to configure the way we want, right? So you can see Docker container run. Hmm? We'll understand all of those things. So this is, it is we are pulling a Jenkins, official Jenkins uh, Docker, right? From uh, the Jenkins Blue, uh, Blue Ocean. So that is uh, the image name, we are going to pull it, and it will get pulled, right? And next we are going to run it. Right, we run it. Right, token and the name is there, and uh, detach and port. Those things are given. But before explaining this one, so ultimately Jenkins will be able to access from eighty eight. But before explaining this one into detail, now you you may already see. Now we are running a Docker command, right? But you are like starting from this first. No, this is for a very basic beginner to understand what is CIC, right? So now you need to do the all tools. Now, where is Docker? You don't have Docker, no, right? In your Linux box, you don't have Docker installed. So that's why when you run this command, it will say command not found or something like that. There is no Docker. So the very first thing, prior to starting this practical, there is a prerequisite, right? There is a prerequisite. What is the prerequisite? We need to set up Docker, right? So initially, before coming this, we need to set it up Docker, right? So I'll tell you that one, how to set up Docker uh, right away, right? But uh, let me just go to quickly in this one. Step two is installing Jenkins. Then we need to set up Maven, right? So that you can get the idea what is the flow of the practical. Then install, install means configure the Maven on Jenkins. We have to log into Jenkins and configure. Then uh, we can test something for CI environment because Jenkins build and build server is set up now. And uh, after that, uh, this is about uh, running that particular Java program, right? Let's check those. And after that, once the CI is done, CD, deployment pipeline. Hmm. So we need to put the CentOS, right? And within the CentOS, uh, we are going to put a CentOS uh, image and we are going to run it. And within that, we are going to get into that particular uh, CentOS image. I, when, when it's running, we can connect to the container. Then within the container, we are going to install what? We are going to install Tomcat, right? Because that is our deployment environment. Because this is a web-based application, we are going to deploy it via web, right? Deploy it via web, and we are going to install Tomcat. Then after that, we are going to configure uh, Jenkins in such a way as the code checks in to automatically pick up the compiled uh, Java file and the WR file and deploy it to the Tomcat server and publish it to the web. So you'll be able to access it via web, right? So uh, that's the practical actually. So there's a certain thing, things uh, to be done, configured. But don't worry, I'll be demonstrating step by step, right? So this is the final, uh, the way we are going to access it, web app, right? That's the default place which I get deployed. Uh, we haven't given any point, we are keeping it default because the whole purpose is understanding how the CICD works, right? Okay, so that is that. But before that, we need to set up uh, Docker. So how are we going to set up Docker? Right. So to set up Docker, I have another document for you, right? So we, I'm, I'm going to upload all of those things. Once I did the practical, I'm going to upload, right? Uh, once I complete the practical, I'll be uploading these things, right? So then uh, to set it up Docker, uh, now I have used Oracle Enterprise now because uh, I am using the same setup. Yeah, you may remember since you all are following the Oracle portal as well. 
we have used oracle enterprise linux 7 right so 7.9 the late last version of 7 so i am using the same setup right so i think if you want to get to know how to install oracle enterprise linux uh, on a virtual box so if you follow the oracle portal video it is very nicely explained there right so that that setup you can do it so i'm going, not going to repeat it here and uh, that is always i'm going to do but if somebody else using something other some other way like Ubuntu, CentOS, Fedora, don't worry. Let me show you. Now this guide, the reference is there. This is from Jenkins side because uh, our uh, build server is Jenkins. And we are going to run uh, Jenkins on uh, Docker. So therefore, you go to Jenkins. Let you explain the full command for Jenkins as well. Uh, to pull the docker. I'm here now. So I'm inside the VM. So I need to, I can't copy outside, right? Should be able to copy, but uh, yes, right. So this is a Jenkins official documentation. So in that, if you go to here, if you go here, you have how to install docker, right? In Jenkins. So anyway, it will call uh, Docker site, <laughs> right? So why I am going to Jenkins? Because uh, we have some configuration work to be done with Jenkins. So you have to follow this documentation to do that, right? And uh, from there, we can get it. Now you can see install Docker. If you go to Docker Hub, right, it will call uh, to go to the Docker Hub. And you can see how to download and install is given here for the relevant OS. So each OS separate guide is there, right? And you can see Docker Community Edition is there, right? For Pedora, for CentOS, and uh, Mac, and AWS, Windows, right? Uh, Azure, like Ubuntu, right? So select whatever the guide the relevant for you. But uh, I have, since I'm using uh, Oracle Enterprise, you know, so I'm, I have the guide configured here, how to do it, because there are slight differences in different OSs, right? So, but for CentOS and all, no, again, there's a slight difference between Oracle Enterprise Max and CentOS. Doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter. That you can manage that one because that guide is given perfectly in the Docker uh, Hub. That's just what I show you earlier, right? Okay. So the that's the first step. So you need to install Docker, right? So the old steps are given here. ETC, uh, we have to enable the repository uh, local. You need to uh, get that don't enable developer uh, uh, i mean the we have a package installed and there are certain configurations to be done and the very first step i have installed the yum uh, the zip and unzip utility because we need those things but uh, it might be already installed so if, uh, that's the uh, anyway i'm just giving you in case it is not installed right so uh we will start from here right so and ultimately once we uh, complete this one, we are going to have uh, Docker up and running, right? So we can uh, check the Docker process, system control, uh, the process enable. Once you enable it, uh, the process must be up and running, right? System control is start Docker service, then system control is status Docker. So this is user output. It is active, right? So we have, we'll check these things once the installation is complete. So, okay, so yeah, since uh, we are going to have a short video, so I'm going to stop this session here. So in the next session, you will start right away from the Docker installation on Oracle Enterprise Linux. Right, okay, thank you very much. Uh, if you like the video, just uh, subscribe to the video. I'll uh, see you soon. Have a nice day, right, bye-bye.